LRHS TV News with Sam Barr and Cody Heidemann. Good day, Lake Ranch. I'm Sam. And I'm Cody. And you're watching LRHS TV News for Friday, September 8th. Today is your last chance to vote for this year's homecoming call. Voting kicked off on Tuesday this week and ends today. To cast your grade level vote, look for the QR codes on campus and in classrooms around the ranch. Then use all that state level forbidden technology to cast your vote. Students can only vote once and may vote for their grade level. You will need to know your STMC student email to vote. Then get ready for the homecoming 2023, which kicks off on Monday, September 18th. Today is also another important date for homecoming season as tickets for the Hoko Dance are now on sale. Make sure to wear neon to match the theme. Tickets can be purchased on RevDrag and will cost $25 through the end of the day today. So get your tickets and save some bread, because tomorrow, ticket prices will jump to $35. That price will be in effect until Wednesday, September 20th. After that, the price will jump up another $5 for last minute ticket sales on September 21st and 22nd. Ticket sales end on Friday the 22nd at 12 noon. No tickets will be sold after 12 p.m. on that Friday or at the door of the homecoming dance on Saturday the 23rd. So plan ahead, submit your guest forms, and get your tickets as soon as possible. Now let's talk about the real fun stuff. The spirit days of homecoming where everyone can show their school spirit and participate. Here's a look at the dress up days for HOKO 2023. Monday, September 18th is color day at the ranch. Dress up in your assigned class colors with or without a theme. Seniors are yellow, juniors are blue, sophomores are pink, and freshmen are purple. Staff is encouraged to wear orange. The Monday night time event is class of classes in the gym at 6 p.m. Tuesday will be mathlete and athlete day, so suit up for sports or study hall. Then bring these brains and biceps out to trivia night in the cafeteria starting at 6 p.m. Looking ahead to Wednesday, we've got Superhero and Supervillain Day. Think comic books, video games, and movies. Then, it's good vs. evil out of the softball fields for a kickball tournament at 6 p.m. for your nighttime event. Thursday will be Generation Day with the following class assignments. Freshmen will be babies or toddlers. Of course, sophomores will be college-age kids. Juniors will be parents or professionals. And seniors will age up to senior citizens. Teachers are asked to dress like they did in high school. Thursday night, we'll get fired up at the annual bonfire in the bus loop from 7.30 to 9 p.m. Then on Friday, we will have the Classic Spirit Day where everyone will wear LRHS gear and green to school. Friday night brings the Big Hoko tailgate party starting at 5.30 p.m. outside the gym, followed by the Hoko football game versus Lehman High School at 7 p.m. with the Royal Court Nation during halftime for the King and Queen and their court. You've got a week to prepare Mustangs, then it's homecoming time right here at the ranch. And finally, this Tuesday, LRHS will host the College and Career Fair in the gym for seniors. Dr. Purpose sent out an email with a list of release times for this event, just scheduled to begin at 8 a.m. and wrap up by 10 a.m. Please excuse your senior students when their alphabet bracket is called. If you have a class of all seniors, you are welcome to come too. Coming up after the break, we'll take a look at today's lunch. But first, here's Hayden with your Sports Stampede. What's up Mustangs, Hayden here with a look at this week's Sports Stampede. The varsity football team suffered a tough loss to the Cougars, but the team looks to reset as they travel to district rival Braden River tonight. Kickoff is at 7 p.m., so come out and support your Mustangs. The Lakewood Ranch girls cross country team claimed the second place trophy out of 14 teams at the Pasco Invitational last weekend. Taking home top 15 individual honors were junior Olivia Spiegel in fifth and freshman Julia Mulligan in 12th. Tomorrow the Mustangs run at Holloway Park in Lakeland which is one of the tougher courses and also the site of the regional meet later in the year. Good luck, runners. The boys' golf team gets an early start at 7 a.m. tomorrow as they participate in the Mooney Match Invitational, which takes place at the Founders Club. Also at the Founders Club, the girls' golf team will have a match play tournament. The Lady Mustangs get started at 7.30 a.m. Good luck to both teams on Saturday. The girls defeated Palmetto last week 139-164 to with Emily Storm earning the top spot for the Mustangs. The swim team dives into action this Wednesday at the YMCA at 4 p.m. 
The Mustangs will hope to sink Southeast, Palmetto, and Bayshore at this event. And finally, the varsity girls volleyball team will take part in the Wiregrass tournament this weekend. That's a look at all the sports picture heading into this weekend. Next week, make plans to support your friends and classmates in the stands. And as always, go Mustangs. When we listen, we can learn new things and expand our minds. When we learn new skills, a world of possible careers become available. When we participate, we are more active and feel better. So make the most of your school day. Listen, learn, and play. Welcome back. Today for lunch in the main line, we will have cheese lasagna, sweet chili Thai bowl, corn, mini romaine salad, fresh sliced apples, and your choice of juice or milk. Sounds delicious. That's all the news for today, Mustangs. We hope you have a great weekend.